To recap what those tips are, just to make sure that you've got everything covered. Number one is to open terminal inside a cursor project so you have visibility of all of your files and you can use the cursor agent to diagnose any problems in your code base. Second was to create a Claude rules file in your project so that Claude knows how you want it to behave and how you want to work best with it. And you can update those rules as you go based on how you find it best to work with Claude code. The third tip was to start a project by turning on plan mode. And so so you want to get Claude code to create a detailed and thorough plan of the app that you're building first so that it can follow that plan and then check off the items as it completes them. And when you relaunch Cursor on any given day and Claude code starts from scratch, you can give it the context of where it is in the project by getting it to read that project plan markdown file. Tip four was to use Cursor Agent to help you diagnose any problems that are happening in your code or with Claude code. If Claude code gets stuck going around in circles trying to solve a problem, just use the Cursor Agent to actually look into your project files, read your code and give you a way to prompt Claude code to actually go and fix that problem. And then the final tip here is just to turn on dictation mode in Mac OS. That just means that you can talk directly to Claude code. You don't have to type everything out. You can just chat to it as if it was literally your software engineer, your software developer that you were talking to about the app that you wanted to build. 